Hello, random people on the internet. My name is Banana, and I have a tough pill for a lot of people to swallow. There have been a lot of nerfs going around right now. The Wither Skeleton Pet, the Tiger Pet, the Baby Yeti Pet, all of them are getting some nerfs. There are also nerfs to the One for All Enchant. There are just so many nerfs coming out, and it's a tiny bit scary for a lot of people to deal with. But I am going to just say something right now. There's one more item that needs to be nerfed, and if it doesn't get nerfed, I'm worried about the future of every single update in Hypixel Skyblock, especially the Nether update, because this item has gone unchecked for too long and is literally going to trivialize every single combat situation. So I'm going to talk about one nerf that I really think the admins still need to do, and you guys may not like it, and that nerf is the Emerald Blade. But before we get to that, I just want to remind you guys that I am on the grind for 60,000 YouTube subscribers. When I hit 60,000 subscribers, I'm going to sneak into London, climb on top of Big Ben, and I'm going to dance around while wearing this banana costume right here. I know, it's insane. This is actually really totally 100% going to happen if I get to 60k. So if you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. It's free. It's the best way to support me, and you can always understand do it later but let's get right into talking about why the emerald blade should be nerfed i think before we talk about the nerf there actually has to be a brief history lesson on how the emerald blade came into power because the emerald blade wasn't always the weapon you see today that everyone is using if you're actually rich because there wasn't much reason to use it because no one had that much money. Back when the Emerald Blade started becoming popular, it was around the era of dragons and the 50 million coin Midas because a lot of people were using Midas or an aspect of the dragons with a dragon pet, something around those lines, and people were accumulating a little bit more money than I think the admins really expected. People had about 300 million coins and noticed that while you use the Emerald Blade, which if you don't know how the Emerald Blade works, in your Emerald Collection you can look at it, it's a pretty easy craft and it's a powerful blade made from pure emeralds and it's going to become stronger as you carry more coins in your purse. So some people were getting about 300 million coins and this started beating out a 50 million coin Midas when it came to damage. So a lot of people started switching to Emerald Blade, but there was an inherent risk in using it because back in the day, whenever you would die in Skyblock, you lost your coins. This is still true that when you die in Skyblock, by default, you lose your coins, but nowadays there is the cookie buff, and we also still do have the talisman, the piggy bank, and that's what people used to use. They used to carry around a bunch of piggy banks just to make sure that they wouldn't lose their money whenever they die. But with the cookie buff, there's no longer really a need for that, so as long as you have a cookie buff, you can fit a lot of money into your purse. Obviously, over time, with updates, weapons have gotten better. The 50 million coin Midas is no longer the sword that everyone is using. There are things like Flower of Truth, Livid Dagger, Shadow Fury, Giant Sword, Valkyrie, you know, all of those are reasonably better than the 50 million coin Midas, so you would figure that the Emerald Blade would be out of the meta. You would figure that it would be gone, but nope, it keeps coming back with a vengeance, and that is because people keep getting more money. Back in the day, as I was saying, 300 million coins, That's that was a pretty reasonable amount of money to have, and uh, that was a lot of damage, and people were running the Emerald Blade then. Now, if we look at player death streaks, let's just look him up right now. Let's look at how much death streaks has just sitting in his purse. Oh. Only 23 billion coins? I have 5 billion coins in my purse, and I'm nowhere near the richest player. Someone like Swavy has over 60 billion in their purse. Back in the day, around the Dungeons Alpha, Dragoon made a video about the 26 billion coin Emerald Blade. I'm sure a lot of you have seen that video. And back then, that was sort of a pipe dream for anyone to get. I had 1.1 billion coins when Dungeons came out, and I was one of the richer players around that time. I took so much contraband to get to that point. But nowadays, people are blowing 26 billion out of the water. And one of the main points in Dragoon's video was that if you have 26 billion coins, 
it's gonna break the emerald blade there was a cap on it that basically would make it act really weird and honestly break the lobby if you had more than 26 billion but the admin said hey you know how you know how there's a cap on this super op weapon we're just gonna remove it you know now anyone with 50 billion coins you can just keep dealing more damage and out damaging the current meta weapons and that is where the problem mainly lies when does the emerald blade stop Currently in the game on a per hit damage basis, the one for all giant sword is the best of the best. La creme de la creme, alright? This is not going to be true for the future, I don't think. I don't think everyone's going to be running a giant sword. But for now, I'm just going to use this for the test. And I'm going to show you how good Emerald Blade is. Because I have a 5 billion coin purse. But my one for all Emerald Blade is going to absolutely murder this giant sword. So we're going to look at the damage here. You can see I did 1.5 mil, uh, 1.5 mil, 1.7 mil, 1.6 mil. Alright, so I'm dealing anywhere from 1.5 to 1.7 mil with the giant sword now if we use the emerald blade once again with one for all you're gonna see 2.5 mil 2.5 mil 2.6 mil i am dealing about a million more damage with the emerald blade than the giant sword and i think one of the biggest arguments against the emerald blade here is banana it takes 5 billion coins for you to deal that much damage. The giant sword only costs like 200 million at this point. So the emerald blade should be better. But the emerald blade doesn't actually cost 5 billion coins. Sure, I need to have 5 billion coins on me to deal that damage. I can completely agree with that. But I'm not investing that into the emerald blade. I'm not powering up my emerald blade by paying to increase my damage. I just have to have the money. It's like if you got to drive around a Lamborghini so long as you had enough money to afford a Lamborghini. You don't have to pay for it and you can just give it back whenever and you can spend that money whenever you want but you still got that Lamborghini for now and that is absolutely insane. The Emerald Blade is the jack of all trades weapon. It has no specific use case other than just having coins on you but it can beat out every single specific weapon. A 15 billion coin emerald blade can beat out an atom split katana. What? How can you have something that obviously 15 billion coins for someone to have? That's a lot of coins. That is pushing my net worth in your purse. But if you have that, you're able to beat out the most specified and highest damaging weapon to a specific thing. And that makes no sense. How can you have a jack of all trades weapon that beats out literally the most end game of end game weapons in every situation? The main reason I'm talking about this right now is the nether update. We know that it's coming soon. We've gotten a bunch of leaks for it and I'm scared for the nether update because there are only two ways to beat out the emerald blade. They either need to completely nerf it and add a cap to it of some kind it doesn't have to be an absurdly low cap it doesn't have to be an absurdly high cap it just needs to make nether weapons actually better than it or they need to power creep the ever loving hell out of everything in this game because what they could do is they could just make something that's better than a 30 billion coin emerald blade but if they did that, that would be the most insane thing ever to me. I'm just worried that the nether update's gonna come out and people are going to cheese so hard just because they have so many coins. Nothing against death streaks or <laughs> Swavy or me even. I think I should be one of the people that like the Emerald Blade because I'm sitting on a 5 billion coin purse at all times. But nothing against these people. But an Emerald Blade does not deserve to carry them to victory in every single situation. Because if I have to end up making tutorial videos and my tutorial bodes down to, Hey guys, if you want to do this content easily, get 5 billion coins in your purse and use the Emerald Blade. That's just going to get super duper boring. So I'm just scared for how hard this thing can scale through the future. This is definitely the best weapon in the game. It's been the best weapon in the game since the freaking end update. And I don't see any stopping soon. I was so surprised to not see an Emerald Blade nerf in the balance changes that just recently went to the alpha. Maybe we'll see one when they put the nether on the alpha. I really hope that we do because this thing is just getting a little bit too nuts. So that is all I wanted to talk about today. I just wanted to go over the Emerald Blade and why I think it is 
by far the craziest weapon in the game and why it should be nerfed. Let me know down below what you guys think about the Emerald Blade because I know a lot of people don't have the wealth to actually just go and use this where they actually just want to have their coins to spend, but anyone who's used the Emerald Blade knows this thing packs a punch and that punch can be very scary for any content they want to make difficult in the future. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope this kept you informed and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace out.